she stated that one to on the record so that's for why we are recording this deliberation at the same time uh, i'll upload that one also for you so first thing is that uh, a quick thing of canon of classification then i will go for the mm -hmm. column classification because we are having today some bit of time because this is the last class although i had to start that one from three onwards but as you know the government has already mandated you can go to the market from three to five so that's why i was there just for bringing something so now let me present you my entire screen so that you can get that one here mm, yes so share and then presenting and now you see i'm presenting here this is a slideshow this thing okay from beginning now you see although you are seeing this one as devices although you are seeing this one as devices but this is not the devices i'm not going to tell you devices first i'm going to tell you this one the canons of cataloging so this canons of cataloging is relevant for these session too now see this one that is so lisha is it clear are you getting this one yes sir good so now you see regarding canons of classification see uh, if you if you if you consider the theoretical development in library and information science and ranganathan he developed lot of theories not only for classification but at the same time for the cataloging also and most of the cases if you see uh, actually the pattern these are known as these are known as uh, normative principles ranganathan told that one as normative principles why normative principle what is the normative principle normative principles means the rules the norms normative this means the rules or governing rules for a particular idea or topic so here what we are doing that is we are dealing with the normative principles of ranganathan or normative principles given by ranganathan regarding library cataloging normative principles so at the same time normative principles are there for classifications also there are 43 canons and Uh, different all principles, different principles. So, for forty-three normative principles, uh, we this is the amalgamation of we can say the canons, laws, principles, postulates. Now, here one thing is very important. Important is that whenever we are talking about Ranganathan's normative principle, you have to follow this one. There's a first is. if you see the hierarchical structure of normative principle the first hierarchy of normative principle is the laws so first is okay uh, let me show you like this that is the next slide uh, here you see the pattern is like that is a normative principle normative principles and in normative principles first is l a w s laws second is canons then principles postulates postulates p o s and lastly 
rules. So, according to Ranganathan, this is the hierarchy of this one. The at the top. So, what you have to do, you have to go with this one, or you have to go like this. This is uh, can say this is rather this type of approach. You can say that is the top to down. You can go for this one. That is first are the rules. Then from rules, whenever you are making some bit of whenever rules are rather hypothetically can be made applicable. This becomes postulates, then it becomes principles, and then the canons, which are not laws but nearly laws, may be considered as the pseudo laws. And the lastly, we are having the laws itself. So, laws is the most concrete thing, laws are rather the implementable one, canons are the practicable one, those are not the laws. But you can say those are rather the part of the normative principles which are uh, at the process of um, being the laws. So in classification, sorry, in cataloging, so first thing is that you say uh, Ranganathan first in 1934, he stated that one normative principles of cataloging published but they were first time included in the theory of library catalog in 1938 by Madras Rajasu. So in 38, there were six canons for classification. Then in 1955, he made another two canons. That is what? That is the canon of context and purity. And in the last canon in 1969, he told this one or he uttered this one the library science with this land to documentation this is the journal of drtc this is a journal by drtc where he stated the canon of recall value so right now we are having the nine canons so what are the nine canons the six and two eight and nine so canon of ascertainability canon of relevance later in 1995 he had named that one as canon of sort heading, then canon of consistency, canon of currency, canon of permanence, and canon of prepotence. Okay. And then he made one book that is the headings and canons in 1955, where he stated that one canon of context, canon of purity. And the lastly is the canon of recall value. Now, one by one, if we discuss this one, then you will understand these canons were made in cataloging. These canons were made for making the main entry or making the entries as well as the tracings. As you know, in cataloging, we have two parts. One part is the making the entries, or rather you can say the main entries. And at the same time, with the main entries, we need to make the tracings. What are the tracings? Tracings are the add-on entries, extra entries that we require to produce or prepare for a particular book or document. So first is made. now. These canons are the governing rules, normative rules, norms. Each and every cataloger must follow this rule or these things. Or you can say that one, that is, canons are usually used not only for the cataloging, these are also used for developing a code. So you can say, the canons for cataloging are having two purposes. Canons of cataloging are having two purposes. One purpose is to make a catalog code and second one to catalog 
existing documents. Okay. Now see, uh, as for example, I'm telling you, suppose you want to make a catalog code for Bengali books or Nepali books or Hindi books, because already whatever we are having, we are having this one, the cataloging of English books. Now, take the example of one book in uh, in in in. Uh, Sir, PPT here. is not showing. It is not showing. Everyone. No, PPT is not showing. No one is seeing the PPT. Hello. Yes, sir. I can see the PPT. You can sir. see the PPT. And also the PPT, sir. Sir, same here, sir. Even myself too, okay. too sir. Okay. 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 I think it is the problem with the network. Many a times it happens. So okay, then I am showing that one again. I'm, I already stopped that one and presenting again. Okay. No problem. Now, are you getting the PPT? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. So now, yes, what I'm sir. saying, right, now what I'm saying, the canons of cataloging or anything, canons of cataloging, canons of classification, these canons can be used for not only the preparation of catalog card it is also used or it is also applicable for preparation of a new catalog code now you can say that one what is the new catalog code can i develop new catalog code obviously you can now see suppose i am the rather for this one i will always give the example with dishas because uh, she initiated that one but don't think otherwise. So other people do not actually mind this one because uh, as because I'm not actually taking your name. But you see, so this is suppose Disha is uh, trying to develop one catalog code for Bengali. Now you see in English, uh, suppose you have a book named as colon classification. Colon classification. Suppose you have a book on colon classification. Hello. Ah. Reinstall I me. Mean. Acha, me wota dekhi. Three point one eight, na? Acha, dekha dekhi. So now you see um, what is what I am saying. That is. Suppose you are, um, you have a book, and mainly a, a very, 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 uh, take one book in uh, Bengali or Hindi. Okay. In Hindi, one book, suppose to a name that is, uh, one book. Mm. Prem Chat ka ek kitab batao. Munshi Prem Chat ka. Aja, chodo, koi baat nahi. So suppose you are having one book named as Monohar Kahaniya. Okay. So suppose you have a book Monohar Kahaniya written by written by Ashish Srivastava Srivastava okay Ashish Srivastava published from New Delhi New Delhi by Pustak Mahal in 2020 suppose you have a book and the name of the book is what? 
Monohar Kahaniya and written by Ashish Srivastava. So, and then you have this one that is the, um, it is published from New Delhi, Ustak Mahal, 2020. Now, how will you write this one? Whenever you will make this catalog card, then what will you do? How will you write this one? So now, just go for this one. So this is what I do not have here. Mm. Just a minute. Right now, I do not have any in this script. Okay. Okay. Copy and then go for this one. So this is Monohar Kahaniya. Now you know that one. That is whenever we are writing anything or rather we are writing. First we are writing that one the title. After the title what we usually do. That is by. Okay. Now we go for the by. Now what will you do? By means what? Now in Hindi, you can write by. Oh, sorry, in English. Uh, that is what you have to write dwara. Okay. So now slash control V. Okay. So, Manohar Kahaniya, okay. this is what okay. I Dara, Dwara, Ab. That is right now you see you have this one that is by Adesh Srivastam. By Adesh Srivastava. Now, if you have to write this here, Adesh Srivastava, that is what you will have a very peculiar type of entry. Monohar Kahaniya Dara Adesh Srivastava. So, what you have to do, you have to change this one, that is Dara. Let's go here. That is what this Adesh Srivastav Dwara Ab kya karoge? Abhi likha hua by Adesh Srivastam, that is yes, now we got that copy now from here. Now bring this one. Adesh Srivastav Dara Nerupit. 
Okay. Now you have to go for giving that one that is the stop space stop space dash. Yeah. Now this is what the addition is not there. That is what New Delhi. New Delhi. So now copy it. So now bring that one here. Control V. That is a New Delhi. New Delhi. Then you have to give colon. Colon ke baad pustak mahal. Stock Mahal. To stock Mahal and then comma and the lastly this will be two zero two zero. Two zero two zero. So that is the uh, that should be two zero two zero so two zero two zero I'm not writing this one here because it's not coming now see what I am saying why this canons are important now see Manohar Kahaniya is the title it's okay that is Adesh Srivastav Dwara Nirupi now here is the catch now whenever we are writing this one in English, we just write that one slash by Adesh Srivastav, not any other thing. But see, whenever you have to write that one in Hindi, you have to write that one like Nirupi. Now this, do you really think that Nirupi, so is this the real term that is author will understand? So the problem is the whether this will be Nirupi or Rachit. So this is what is the problem. That is which particular word you will use and which word is the important one by which the author will, oh, sorry, users will get the document clearly. This is very important. And that's why the canons are important for cataloging as well as canons are important for division of making of catalog code. Now see first canon, I am starting with the very first canon, that is the canon of ascertainability. Now what is canon of ascertainability? Canon of ascertainability is the canon, it tells us that one, that is whether a canon or rather whether canon, a name, author name, place of publication, anything can be ascertained from the document or not, can be identified from the document or not. This is known as canon of ascertainability. Can we ascertain what is the year of the pub, year of publication of the book? So this is canon of ascertainability. If it is there, it's okay. If it is not there, then we have to go for some rules. As for example, you know, in Mm. ACR2, whenever we do not have any place, we have to write SL. What is SL? What does it mean? Suppose you do not have anything or you have do not have uh, the author, sorry, not author, the place. 
So then what will you write? If place is not there, then what will you write? I don't know. Don't know. Because you didn't get any chance for doing that one. Now, for this one in English, monohar kahaniya slash by uh, which one? Adesh Srivastava. This is what in English. And stop space dash. No addition is there. Now, suppose this Naidilli is not there. This is the canon of ascertainability. Canon of ascertainability says that one in any book you open the title page and see whether place is there or not. Can the place, can you identify the place? If you can identify the place, then you write New Delhi. This is actually the name place. But if you do not, or if you are unable to identify the place, then ACR2 says you write in third bracket, in small you write S and L, all small, bracket close, and you have to write that one in italics, that is SL. And this SL signifies, I will tell you that, now SL, colon, suppose this book is here published from Pustak Mahal, but you didn't get that one. So it is not ascertainable. So S N, that is S N again in italics and then comma and year of the publication. Year of publication. If the date is not available. So you have to write like this. This is the prescription of this year two. Now what is that one? SL. So S dot L. This is the Latin word known as S I N E Sine L O C O Sine Loco. That means what? That is the location unknown or location not available. Right, S dot N. This means sine S I N E. This S is also in small. S sine N O M I E. Sine nomi. Sine nomi. This means the nominee, the name of the author is unavailable. Sorry, name not name of the publisher is unable and this question mark denotes that one that is year is not traceable year not traceable okay so this is what is the rule for this one and that's for why what the Raghunath is saying first and foremost thing is that canon of ascertainability you have to, you must have the document from where you can identify who is author, who is, what is the title, what is the edition that is known as a certain unit. Second one, that is the canon of relevance. This was later named as canon of sort heading. Now see the spelling, S-O-U-G-H-T, sort heading. Now sort heading, this is the relevance. What is that? Now suppose you have a title, again you come here, now suppose you have a title, I am just uh, removing this one, Th these things are not required right now. Now, this one is also now see canon of that is what relevance now regarding relevance now i am rather giving you 
the title of a book that is this is the title of a book what is the title the title is the great dictator now relevance canon of relevance says that one suppose you have to make an entry with the title as you know that one in tracing whenever we are doing the tracing tra tra c i n g tracing first we write one then two then three for the subjects then we write one for the second author and two roman two for and we just write title now whenever we are writing the title and we are making an entry with the title now suppose this is the entry heading so now you are writing that one that is the great dictator control c now you are writing this one the great dictator now anganathan is saying that one see here canon of relevance the sort heading this is also known as canon of sort sort heading now according to ranganathan this thing this one the great dictator do you really think that one people will all the book by the very name the great dictator suppose one user is approaching and the name of the book is the great dictator will he approach the book title of the book if he comes to the library and asks for the book will he approach the librarian the great dictator as the name no sir which then how he will approach because the approach would be like that this d this d or da t h e this has no value value in that sense this is nothing but an article as because this is the article actually the book is the great dictator but d is the qualifier by this way you are trying to mention that one the great dictator you are identifying signifying you are pinpointing the dictator but the author or oh sorry user will never go for this one that is the d like that one whenever you are getting one in of in between your title people do not bother about that one so canon of sort heading this means canon of sort heading or canon of sorting or canon of relevance means whenever you are trying to make the headings or access point try to make the access point so that that access point is relevant to the requirement of the retrieval of the document otherwise there is no such necessity to make one entry on that particular topic What is that? क्या बताए क्या बताए हैं रेलेवेंस क्या है रेलेवेंस यही है कि कोई भी हेडिंग आप बना रहे हो तुम वो हेडिंग के लिए तुम्हें ऐसे ही हेडिंग देना पड़ेगा जो हेडिंग का मीनिंग और जो हेडिंग से वो डॉक्यूमेंट रिट्रीवल चांस ज़्यादा है ऐसे हेडिंग देने का कोई ज़रूरत नहीं है जिस जिस हेडिंग से ऑथर का कोई डिमांड ही ना हो so that is why this is known as canon of relevance okay this is the canon of relevance now number 3 this is known as canon no, of to interrupt you sir ah uh, yes batao so may i ask you one question sir so yes, that yes, mean like, so that mean the da da is a da lost lost their value at the time the da lost this value at that time because whenever you will file this one whenever you will arrange the card you have to arrange the card under g not under the t because here the approach term is great dictator not the great dictator 
okay so okay sir thank you hmm. now see canon of consistency this canon is applicable everywhere you know that one canon of consistency this canon of consistency means what ranganathan is saying if you use something or if you standardize something if you already fix up something for your cataloging do that one for every time or for every document do not change that one for each and everywhere what is canon of consistency suppose for addition we usually write ed dot right addition statement so here you see for addition statement so here that is second rev dot ed dot space dash space then again this one so this one that is you see second rev ed that means second revised edition now see second then rev a dot edition a dot so throughout your catalog card you must follow this one that is write rev for revision don't write in first one catalog you are writing rev second catalog you are writing revision in one catalog for one book you are writing edition another catalog you are writing ed don't do that one that is known as canon of consistency this is known as canon of consistency what is canon of consistency as for example for your own i can say that one suppose in Mad uh, madhyamik you got that one 78 percent in high secondary you got 72 percent in graduation you got 42 percent in blis you got 70 percent in mlis you got 52 percent in phd you didn't qualify so it cannot be stated that one you are consistent consistency means keep that one whatever you are having using you are following better you keep that one throughout all the cases so this is the consistent statement for canon of consistency so if you write as for example canon of consistency i'm telling you one very good example here many of the library schools are there where the first approach term in the heading is always written in uh, always written in yes always written in upper cases many library catalogs are there where the first letter or approach term is written as because the is not important so the great this one is written as in all caps or rather whenever you are writing the author catalog so you are writing that one srivastava s r i v a s t a v a srivastava comma a d e s h sorry Here I am not getting anything. Okay. Srivastava is R O I I V A S T A V A. Srivastava and then comma. Then you have to write something like uh, text box here. K D E S H Ades and just bring that one here and make this one this one is 28 so make this one 28 also so what is the catch here the first word which is a short term by which users will ask the book you have to write or you can write the thing in all caps why whenever all caps will be there this will be catchy People will understand that one. This is the key term 
and I have to find out the document. I have to search the document by this way. But if you follow this one in your catalog card, you have to be consistent. Each and every card must follow this rule. That is known as canon of consistency. The next canon, that is the canon of currency. Canon of currency, here currency means up-to-dateness. Whenever you are using or rather preparing your catalog card for heading and for other concepts, notes everywhere, the term you will be using, always use the term which is very current, contemporary. That is known as canon of currency. And then canon of permanence. Here is the big tussle between these two. Canon of currency and canon of permanence. Canon of permanence says you that one. Canon of permanence tells you Canon of permanence say that one use a concept or rather use a term, use a single term throughout the schedule. Throughout the schedule. Okay, example. Example, center, bold, trend. Okay, so this is what we are talking about. We are talking about This one, we are talking about currency, we are talking about consistency, currency, permanence. Okay, three things. So, consistency we already talked. Now, here you see D uses glasses. Now, current, another term, D uses spectacles. D uses lenses. Okay. Now tell me, out of these three, which one is correct? Which one is the current one? Sir, my glasses maybe. Now here you see, right now, because of the very intrusion of WhatsApp and other things, people are not even writing that on spectacles. They are writing specs. Okay. But you Thank have you. to lenses. Now here you see you are in trouble. Trouble means a uh, lot of synonyms are there, you know. So now you see consistency. If you follow consistency, then you can, if you write glasses, so almost all the times you have to write glasses for use. But if you, right now, if you want to go for the currency, current terms, you can go for the lenses, contact lenses, I use lens, I use lenses, I use spectacles. So this depends on the very state, country, where you live. Where do you live and how, what language they are actually say, what language they are saying. So this is the known as, this is known as currency. Currency means update, updated information. As for example, now in, okay, another very good example, that is what? <clears throat> I'm rewriting two terms. Information. Proliferation. Proliferation. This is our term, so that's for why you will be uh, happy to hear that one. The example is from this one. And now, and another one is information. Now, see, two terms I have given you. Can you tell me which term is the current one? The first one, maybe. 
the first one that is the information proliferation and what is the meaning of information proliferation no no sir sir maybe oh, it overloaded maybe i think so sir. information proliferation means the info each and every time every day information is increasing one by one or one after another cyclic way in cyclic way information is rather being generated and it is rather being so it is getting bigger in shape this is known as information proliferation that is one information from one information a new information is being developed from that information new information is being developed that is known as information proliferation okay so this one but information overload right now people are not saying that one information proliferation anymore people are talking about they are saying that one information proliferation has already been replaced by information overload why because this proliferation is having a positive sense a positive sense whilst this information overload is having a negative sense proliferation means information is generating no one is bothering about the quality of information the um, truthfulness of information the validity of the information and the veracity of the information they are talking about the volume of information information is generated but information overload is measuring the quality of information that is what real information is rather being proliferated and overload signifies every each and every people they are giving information and many of such information is not at all proliferating the information domain this is overloading the information domain with the junk information this is like that one in your email box each and every day whenever you open your email box you will see that one lot of junk emails are there you can say that one information proliferation now my email box is full but this is a positive idea but if you really see you will see that one this is nothing but the information overload these are only taking the space of your gmail inbox and most of the information or messages they are not having any relationship with the information you really seek for so this is what is the perspective of canon of currency so if we follow canon of currency that is the four uh, canon four so we have to choose this one and we have to discard this one we have to discard this one this is not required information overload we will choose this one information overload now go for this one pick canon of permanence this is the paradox in canon of permanence ranganathan is saying that one if you are using any term or any idea or any concept do not try to change it always try to keep that one remain because people are accustomed with that one so if you change that thing um, obviously people will lose uh, the uh, document proper document as because that particular word will be no more and the document will not be charged at, at all so there is a conflict between canon of currency and canon of permanence ranganand stated if there is a problem with canon of currency and canon of per permanence you better give emphasis to canon of currency if there is a doubt if there is a conflict between these two always prefer on canon of currency okay and lastly uh, that is the sixth one a canon of prepotence what is the canon of prepotence canon of prepotence is um that is relatively relatively which term or which concept is more which concept is more 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 uh, influential or having influence more influence 
than that of others. This is known as prepotence. Prepotence means the weightage. Weightage. Which particular word is having weightage? How? That is, give that one as the prepotence. Now, how you say that one? Prepotence. Now, how will you understand prepotence? He's saying that one. Now I'm giving you one example of prepotence to you. Okay. So mm, let me show you a book. Okay. Let me show you a book. Mm, then you will understand that one, what I am actually talking about. After showing this one. I will give the example. Now see, uh, stop sharing. Okay, I'm not stop stopping sharing. I'm rather opening my video here. Are you getting this book? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is the name of the what book? What is the name of the book? First track. First track. First track. First, first track. Okay. Now I'm opening. Huh? Getting this one? And now I'm. Now I'm opening this one. Are you getting the content? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Content? Yes, sir. Okay. Now yes, see. Sir. Now see. I'm just reversing the book. Now you are getting another title here. Yes, yes sir. Now yes, sir. I'm opening this one. You are getting another another um, uh, content. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Now see, now see the travel with this book. Now what is the travel with this book? This is rather a book in my hand, which is having two title pages, two content pages, and there is no back. The back side of this. So if you open it like that one, if any any side or back side or front side, both sides are rather front and back. So you can see that one. The first one is this, that is free BSD, and the second one is the snakes. See, first page is rather you see the first page is snakes. Okay, first page is snakes. S N A K E S, and is you see. That and see the second page is free BSD. Okay, free BSD. Now, if I ask you to catalog this book, how will you catalog? Suppose Sanjay is uh, seeing the book as free BSD and Disha is seeing the book as snacks. And obviously, there will be the problem. Problem means. You will start with snakes. One will make this book as snakes, and another will make the title as free BSD, as because these two things are indifferent. So the, the, the two books are merged together. Now here comes the question of canon of prepotence. Now canon of prepotence, Ranganathan is saying you. Ranganathan batarai ki unani ye batarai ki tumni ye dekho ki ye dono book ka page number kitna hai. So, जो जिसका पेज नंबर ज्यादा होगा उसी को तुम पहले रखो और जिसका पेज नंबर कम है उसको पीछे रखो दैट इज व्हाट और जिसका पेज ज्यादा है उससे ये कैटलॉग करो और जिसका पेज कम है इसको तुम उससे मेन कैटलॉग करने का कोई जरूरत नहीं डोंट मेक कैटलॉग विद दैट दिस इज व्हाट दे आर ऑन अ प्री पोटेंस पोटेंसी मींस व्हाट हियर पेज नंबर इज मैक्सिमम फॉर वन सब्जेक्ट so we are considering that one that particular page that particular subject is emphasized emphasized okay now mano ki ek kitab mein suppose there is sir the screen is not visible which one uh, sir i am not able to see the screen hey okay. i am presenting no hey nahi dekh pa rahe ho tum log no sir no sir nahi no, hey, sir no. आप देख पा रहे हो नो सर अभी नो सर 
No sir. No sir. No sir. Okay. Share. Ab share kia. Ab aya kuch. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. 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 ऐसे है अथर का नाम देखो ऐसे लिखा हुआ है पूरा के पूरा या इस पे इसको भगाना पड़ेगा ओके नाउ सी मानो कि अथर का नाम ऐसे आया Okay. Now you see there are three authors in this or of this book. Okay. Who is the Abhi Tume? Suppose you have to make the catalog card of this book, and you have to choose the main author. That is who is the author. So how will you start this one? Manu ki iska koi tum tumhe catalog card karna padega. To kaun author samne aayega? Abhinasha. Why? Sir, because it's written in the first. It's written in first. Okay. Abhi kaun aega? Now? Now, who will be the author? Raja De. Raja De. Raja De. Good. Why you are saying that one? It is coming fast. Okay. Now. Now tell me who will be the author? Uh, Sanjay K. Sanjay K. Sharkar. Sanjay K. Sharkar. Why? Because it's written because in writing was capital. written in bold, bold. So this bold. is what is known as canon of prepotence. Got it? The canon of prepotence means if the potency is given in the document by making it bold, bold, by giving it some kind of a special attention, extra pages, or many a times. This thing is written like this way also. Uh, like that, you see, suppose it is written like this, or rather everything is in same, um, uh, you see, typography, but it is written like this way. This and these two fellows are written like this. Then Raja De will be the author and the, they will be the co-authors. So this is, is known oh. this thing. This thing is known as canon of prepotence. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Disha Patani.
दिशा इज नॉट हियर अरे दिशा ही बताया वो दिशा दिखा के हम लोगों को अब खुद भाग गया सर मे बी नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम सर मे बी नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम जा इसलिए एंड दैट्स फॉर व्हाई शी वाज इंसिस्टिंग मी टू रिकॉर्ड दैट वन हां अभी समझ में आया कि yes, वो दो लड़की का तो अभी आ गया ये अपनी कहां से आ गया फिर हां अरे तो देख रहा हूं अभी अच्छा ठीक है चलो इसलिए वो बार बार मुझे रिकॉर्ड करने के लिए बोला रहा था अरे ये तो बहुत ही है इसका तो एंटेना बहुत तेज है अच्छा वेरी गुड सर वेरी बैड नेटवर्क टुडे ओ वेरी बैड नेटवर्क टुडे बट योर एंटेना इज वेरी शार्प बिकॉज़ यू आस्क्ड मी टू रिकॉर्ड दिस वन आई आई नाउ आई गॉट दैट वन गुड वेरी गुड सो सो वेरी नाउ यू सी सो कैन ऑन ऑफ प्रीपोटेंस नाउ then we got that one the canon of context now see this one in 1995 canon of context out of this one this this numbers are extended to 8 the following two canons canon of context now canon of context means whenever you are making some uh, entries entries you may have to make the entries based on the context context what what is the context context is that theory of cataloging raja de obinasha sanjay sarkar and now note i am writing here note note kata l o g u i n g cataloging is also k n o w n known as right suppose this this is a, a note is given there now what does it mean it means that now see this one canon of context Now you say canon of context. Context means what this particular book is saying you. The cataloging is also known as knowledge processing. So the context is cataloging and knowledge processing is same. But as because you are only making cards with knowledge, sorry, cataloging, make one card with knowledge processing also. This is the canon of context. How you will make the card? You will make the card like this way: K N O W L E D G E, knowledge P R O C E W S I N G, knowledge processing. And italics can be given. Okay, knowledge processing. Knowledge processing. No italics. Knowledge processing. and here is the most important thing to make this one as context 20 c what will be the reference c means what what where will you refer this one theory knowledge, of cataloging knowledge processing so c just cataloging or theory of cataloging it should be theory of cataloging okay but if your subject is cataloging then you can go for cataloging also so this is what knowledge processing c cataloging so even if you do not have any card on knowledge processing but there will be just only one card on knowledge processing one card just this thing will be written so whoever will go to the catalog cabinet and search knowledge processing he will immediately see this one that is c underline that is where cataloging so he has to he or she has to go to the cataloging and she, she will find that one that is known as canon of context and then canon of purity canon of purity means canon of individualization previously the, that particular term was very bad inconsistent what he stated inconsistent not current at all and not having the prepotence and that's why he changed that thing 
as canon of individualization. What is individualization? Individualization is saying that one, that is each and every card, each and every entity, every idea must be individualized so that it can be identified very properly. Individualization, as for example, as for example. I think it will be better if you understand that one. Canon of individualization. This is known as individualization. Now, now G U. This is the name of one university. Can you tell me what is the name of this university? Guwahati University. Gorbanga University. Gorbanga University. No, Gorbanga University is not like that. Gorbanga is GBU. If you see this one in Gorbanga University, you'll see that one. The page of Gorbanga University, our address is GBU. They say that one, Gorbanga University. And Now, what Ranganathan is saying that or now see GU is Gohat University and GU is the Gujarat University. Now, if we use the alphabet GU, so as university for that one, suppose we are writing that one that is GU. So or write or 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 you can say that one say. Alice, right? Here you see Alice. Now I am showing you what Alice is. Now see A L I S. What is that? Annals of Library and Information Science. This is a journal. Okay. Alice. Now what is Alice? Advanced in library and information science. Now see, this is what? See, this advances in library and information science. See Alice. Okay. This is our journal. So now we are getting two Alice. One is this, another one is this. Here comes the concept of canon of purity or rather canon of individualization. Whenever we are having such kind of thing that is both the journals are same. So you have to enter here or you have to write something qualifier by which we, you can say that is this is a journal for Alice, but for where? For whose? That is what? This is N I S C A I R, a qualifier that is Alice for the Niskia and this Alice for B L I S N B. B L I S N B U. So now you can say that one. Both are Alice, but they are different. And that is what is known as 
individualization individualization canon of individualization what is that this one canon of individualization canon of purity canon of individualization individualization is something we always do that's for example you see here i do not know let me see uh, let me see no in this class we do not have anyone having or there is there are no two fellows having the same name we do not have do we have any any uh, any a name having two occurrences for two people no so we do not have so this class to hai nahi dusra class pe hai so अगर कोई क्लास पे तुम्हारा दो आदमी एक ही नाम का है तो तुम क्या करोगे मानो कि ये विक्रम रॉय अभी विक्रम ये विक्रम रॉय इसका स्पेलिंग जो है वी से है विक्रम अभी बी आई के आर एम होने से भी डिफरेंट होगा कोई मानो कि दोनों का एक ही एक ही है ये जो श्रोबोना पाल मानो दो दूसरा एक है और एक होगा तो श्रोबोना पाल तो आप तुम दूस पास कैसे तुम खुद जान पाओगे कि कौन श्रवना को तुम बुला रहे हो दैट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू गो फॉर समथिंग दैट इज द इंडिविजुअलाइजेशन बाय व्हिच यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई श्रवना वन श्रवना टू दिस इज व्हाट इज रादर द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो इंडिविजुअलाइजेशन इज समथिंग दैट इज व्हेन एवर ए पर्टिकुलर बुक एंड now you see uh, just uh, let me know one very uh, easy thing from you suppose in a library you are having five books of theory of cataloging written by same author ranganath five copies of books five copies okay how will you individualize each and every copy adding some number in every book by like marking number marking by it. marking number so theory theory of cataloging cataloging now see one number is obviously there that is the accession number the accession number will be different for all the books you know poll number will be same but the accession number will be always different why i will ask you this question so three copies are there now i am rather going to ask this question to one individual named as one individual named as i want to ask this question to one individual named as deepika karmakar deepika karmakar are you here in front of your machine deepika karmakar can you hear me deepika karmakar sos to you are you being yes, sir. okay then okay so if you can hear me then you tell me that one in a library there are three books of cataloging having the same author or by the same author why their accession number is different
चलो सर कैन यू रिपीट दिस क्वेश्चन यस नो प्रॉब्लम आई कैन रिपीट यू रिपीट फॉर यू दैट इज व्हाट ए लाइब्रेरी प्रोक्योर थ्री कॉपीज ऑफ द बुक थियोरी ऑफ कैटलॉग थ्री कॉपीज दिस इज वन कॉपी नंबर वन कॉपी नंबर टू एंड कॉपी नंबर थ्री बट बुक्स आर सेम ऑथर्स आर सेम एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज सेम but why the accession numbers are different Okay. Anyone? Good luck. Yes. Sir, I'm in Bangalore. Oh, what to do? Anyone? From me, Srijani. Srijani, no. Let Srijani say. Okay, Srijani. Yes, sir. Hmm. Ah, uh, to individualize the every every each and every book hmm. and to have them as every book. Yes. This is correct. And now, Disha. Thank you, sir. One order color for acquisition is only chronologically. Jee, how much ajana hai? Sita hi bolay acquisition number. Ye sab gulo pita red bolu ajana hobe na. Actor bolu actor ajana hobe. Tay number gulo alada hobe. To akhoni amne sab gulo ke alada alada kore individualize korte varu. Yes. So this is what. See acquisition accession in number, but uh, okay then. accession number is rather a number this number is given by the library whenever they register it in their book accession accession register whenever they record it in the accession register and that's all why suppose this book came uh, in 2018 so it's there this book in 2019 is there this book in this book was actually from 2016 or 15 or 14 and that's all why it is having 11 so accession number is nothing but a number at which time which copy came to the department or the, or the library so second thing is that uh, next question my next question is for the sofia sofia that is the accession numbers are different what about the call numbers will the call numbers will also be different of these three books No sir. Why? But um, because the these these are copies of a particular book. These are copies copy of a particular book copies of a book, and the call number will be same for all the books. Are you suggesting that the call number will be same for all the books? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, the call number will be same for all the books. Okay. Now, so this is what I told that one canon of contact, canon of purity, and the last one that is the canon of recall value. And canon of recall value is nothing but the concept of mnemonic. Mnemonic means the eight to memory recall value is. 
the whenever you are making the catalog card or rather catalog code try to use the same pattern same concept same style each and every so each and every time so that it can be remembered by the individuals and they will be able to find out they will be able to um, identify that one from their own so that is known as canon of recall value as for example you see let me show you one thing so this is what this is a powerpoint okay uh, allow me to open some other things also uh, this one Now suppose we are having two things side yeah. by side. Yes. So with three uh, type of title is the different different year. Thak to ta holo ki call number alada ho to. No, no. The call number will be but yes, yes, yes. The call number you are saying call number. Call number will be different. Call number will obviously be different because. Call number is consisting of class number as well as the book number and collection number. If you say class number, class number will be equal or class number must be equal for all three books. But the call number will change because in colon classification, call number depends on year of publication. And in other cases, this is dependent on the author's surname as well as the copy number. So the call number will be will not be same but class number will always be same got a point that is yes, class number and call number yes vikram it's clear then let me ask one thing now okay so so we just uh, learned learned about uh, class number not sir call number which one so um, uh, Call number. Uh, call number right is not now, call number. Right, is the right DDC now, classification number. Right now we are learning only to make class number. Right. In DDC mm -hmm. you learned class number. In colon also you are going to learn class number. And in colon with class number you will be able to understand the um, call number also because it is already included in the schedule itself. But in DDC, making call number is not given. In DDC, it is only given that is how you can make a class number. And for call number, you have to take the help of other scheme. I already told you that one, the Carter Sanborn table. You have to take the help of Carter and Sanborn table. And with the help of that one, you have to prepare the call number. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, that means uh, a, a particular money, a call number and the class number may be different of a particular book. Yes, let, of let, a let, one particular. Let, okay, let me show you the example. Okay, that is yes. class number. Call number. Now here you see call number is something like that, that is class number plus book number plus copy number. Okay. This is a this is known as call number. And this is class number. Now and then suppose you have a book that is the just a very simple book library classification ddc that is 0 to 5 point four four three. this is what the notation for ddc notation for class number class number okay now you go to this one this page and uh, that is oclc tatar table free download download it. so okay this one is very 
so right now you have to go for the schedule also you can download that one and immediately you will get that one cut us on okay now accept all cookies go to this one and click i accept until and unless you will accept they won't allow you to this one and you see here cutter 110 is installed okay click it yes sir what is it this is the cutter sandborn table i told you that one another for making the book numbers this is what this is another okay. software available from oclc so now go to the desktop so see this is what and here you will see this is the cutter table is there okay click double click it and text text is four figure table cutter sandborn table i told you so who developed this one this dv decimal classification Who, sir medieval sir medieval who developed dv decimal classification melville dv melville dv okay, that is that is dv b w e y yes, and now see what is the notation for this one d d5191 okay copy it copy so now paste it here so it is always written book number is always written just below the class number so first is class number now it is what it is the book number so you you are writing this one very standard number because it is the oclc product that is oclc means which are producing the dv and now writing copy number that is b1 okay that is volume 1 1 this is what this two portion is a copy number because volume number 1 means what this is volume number but volume number 1 can also be more than 1 uh, or 2 or 3 or 4 so this is volume 1 so this is known as call number so first is class number so sorry here you write class number don't write here this thing and here you better write that is 025.443 then below it 025 i then you can write this one and now this hyphen this hyphen these are totally dependent on the library you can give a colon here but here follow the canon of consistency if you give colon write colon always if you give a hyphen follow hyphen always now see this one is the class number now see this one is the book number now see this is the copy number so this is what is known as call number but what we are learning we are learning fast to develop the class number clear so what Sir, is the copy number copy number means how many copies of the same book is available in the library if you have five then first one is one then two three four five these are the copy number sir what is the difference between call number and isbn number okay isbn number is the international standard book number this is given by a standard agency and this is rather given to the publisher of the book publisher of the book so whenever they publish the book so they write that number so that that particular book can be identified throughout the world from any kind of isbn search utility so this is possible by that one but this is not a class number isbn number is the number given by the a particular agency isbn agency to the publishers only not the librarians the publisher before publishing the book they have to apply that one and then they will get the 
uh, ISB number and once the ISB number is there you can say that one this is having a control this is known as bibliographical control they will have the control of it and once the control is there if um, you can actually see that uh, quality of that particular document is not that uh, someone whatever is coming his mind is writing something so ISBN is always giving allocating allocated to the publishers who are the reputed one or rather who are the established who established some kind of you can say footprint in the publishing industry okay so now it's over and the recall value canon of recall value so recall value what I told you that is one particular thing or one particular concept if you apply you must have to apply that one throughout the now see this is what this this thing this particular thing what you are getting that is the PowerPoint presentation okay now the file menu is given at the very left corner of this software file menu then you are getting home insert draw design like that okay so now I am opening another software. See, this is another software. See, where is the file menu? File menu is given at the very left corner. Got it? Now I am opening another software. Where is the file menu? File menu is the very left corner. So this is what this is known as canon of recall value recall value means you must write something or whenever you are doing so what is recall value now recall value i can give you one example of recall value is here also that is what you say theory of sorry, sorry. cataloging slash by Now see, suppose you are having this one, okay, and this is what a cataloging we are doing, catalog card we are making, and now here you see, here is a concept, this one, slash. This slash is used only for writing the name of the author, that is this slash by, this is rather you can say the recall value. In a catalog card whenever you will see the slash and buy you will immediately understand that one the next thing is nothing but the name of the author this is known as canon of recall value whenever you are getting stop space dash you will immediately understand that one that previous this particular section is over now the new section is started and after that whenever this one is there there also be one this one so after this one you will see that one see this is what theory that is a title and statement of responsibility stops then you got that one edition statement stop now the third one stop so this stop space dash space is the recall value this is rather recall value recall value means what it helps you to identify after that what will come a kind of mnemonic attitude or a kind of mnemonic quality within the cataloging within the catalog so these are the different types of canons propounded by Ranganathan and this is the sum of it okay I think
right now it is the time to stop so i say i thought of doing that one that is something but uh, okay how about to understood that one fine so next time we will be doing our devices any any question any query no so thank you very much yes, sir, yes, sir. sir we will not discuss about cc today <laughs> it's already 5:30 okay so i won't discuss